Game developers are always creating games with the prospect player in mind. They either want the gamers to love their product and stick around for a sequel, or they just simply have made an excellent product that they want you to enjoy. But at the end of the day, your experience is at the forefront of a developer's mind. Some developers strive to take players outside their comfort zones and mess with them a bit. I'm Josh. Welcome to Hotfix Gaming. Today, we're bringing you 10 such instances where video games messed and trolled their players. So, let's get started. Number 10. God of War Ragnarok One thing fans of the franchise have been eagerly anticipating about the newest title in the series was the boss fight with Thor. While gamers are set to encounter Thor twice in the story, it's that initial fight that's got everyone talking. During the second phase of Thor's boss fight, he will eventually trigger a quick time event that no matter what happens, sees Kratos die. This boss fight does a good job of keeping players low on health, meaning many may believe they just failed and actually died in the fight, needing to restart from the beginning or at least from the sequence. The game also does a good job of convincing players on this as the game flips over to its loading screen and tip screen. It is during that loading screen where the magic happens. You can hear Thor say, Oh no, I say when we're done, and then you're back into the fight, being resurrected by your opponent with his Mjolnir. This moment is an awe-inspiring addition to the combat, and regardless of other boss fights in God of War Ragnarok, Thor stands out as the only boss who does this. Number 9. Batman Arkham Asylum A Batman game is not one many would assume would contain a moment that messes with and indeed scares the player, but many would be wrong. Partway through the story, you encounter the Scarecrow, who subjects you to his hallucinogenic agent known as Fear Toxin. This causes Batman to start hearing voices, and upon walking halfway down a corridor, the game freezes, the screen tears as if crashing, and the voices become distorted. After a few seconds of this, the screen goes black, with many players convinced their console or PC was breaking. Not so, though, as a few short moments later came a cutscene revealing that the glitch wasn't real, with Batman imagining the Joker taking him to Arkham Asylum, his worst fear, and calming down from the fright of a crushed system, the player realizes they had their worst fear shown to them as well. Number 8. The Witcher 3 Just like Arkham Asylum, one does not expect to see such a massive open-world game like The Witcher on this list. Yet, here we are. The Witcher 3 includes many characters from the past two games, including Ciri, Yennefer, and Triss. Just like in the previous games, Geralt can romance either Yennefer or Triss and potentially gain an ending based around either woman. However, if the player tries to romance both women equally, they'll get a special cutscene. Yennefer and Triss trick Geralt into thinking he could have them both and then leave him in a pretty compromising position, chained to a bed. After that, any further conversation leads to both women saying they want nothing more to do with him. It doesn't pay to be a player. Number 7. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy You'd think we'd all would have learnt our lesson by now when it comes to Marvel, right? In case you haven't played the game yet, skip to the time shown on screen. It has a post credit scene, except it's not really a scene, but rather a boss fight. The final boss fight, to be precise. As the credits start to roll and players think all is well, various names in the credits begin to glitch out and get replaced with Magus, which triggers the last boss battle. And then, after the boss fight, there's another post credit scene. 6. Eternal Darkness – Sanity's Requiem Eternal Darkness – Sanity's Requiem is a psychological horror action adventure game developed by Silicon Knights and published by Nintendo for the GameCube. One of the unique features of the game is its sanity effects, which are designed to mess with the player's perception and create a sense of unease. Some of the ways in which the game messes with players includes the sanity meter, which decreases each time the character encounters enemies, visual distortions like the screen warping, strange camera angles as well as audio disturbances, all to make it that much scarier. But probably the most notable way in which the game messes with its players is through its fake game crashes. Every once in a while, the game would simulate technical issues like fake error messages, volume adjustments, and even pretending to delete the player's saved file. But that's not all. The game can also manipulate the character directly. For example, it might decapitate the character, only to reveal shortly after that it was all an illusion. And if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit that like button. Anyway, back to the video. Number 5. Doki Doki Literature Club Doki Doki Literature Club gives off the appearance of an anime-style dating simulation game, but it likes to mess with gamers in a similar manner to our previous entry. Players can pursue one of the three available girls, Sayori, Natsuki, and Yuri. 
Spoilers for anyone who hasn't played through the game, but in reality the game is a psychological horror game that breaks the fourth wall. The game presents dark and disturbing subject matter the longer it's played and seems to have a mind of its own, and it sort of does, as it glitches, restarts, deletes save data and more. There are multiple endings, which require multiple playthroughs, reinstallations and hard resets. Number 4. The Stanley Parable The Stanley Parable is designed to confuse and frustrate its audience. Initially released in 2013, the game lets players control the titular character Stanley, as he explores what has happened to his colleagues who have mysteriously vanished. The game gives absolute freedom to its players through the use of a narrator giving instructions to Stanley, which the player can obey or ignore. Doing either can lead to unexpected results, with the narrator commenting directly on actions taken through the fourth wall breaks and attempting to lead the player down certain paths. Looping rooms and infinite corridors can make the player second-guess themselves, and the short runtime coupled with multiple endings can also confuse players, as they retrace their steps looking for one elusive alternate ending among the many. Staying inside your cubicle is also a valid choice, and might be a sensible one if you want to avoid the madness waiting for you when you step foot outside of it. Number 3. Undertale If you go into Undertale without knowing anything about it, you'd think that it's your typical turn-based RPG, where you have to kill enemies in order to collect that all-important XP. But what separates this title from others is the fact that it completely flips the entire concept of XP on its head. As Sans later explains, those aren't actually experience points, they are execution points, and you actually didn't have to kill any of the characters you've encountered. If that is not enough messing with the player's head, then just know Undertale also messes with saved files and even breaks the fourth wall on multiple occasions, with the likes of Flowey making comments about your actions, saving and reloading. Number 2. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild the large open world of Hyrule in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is covered in Koroks and Korok Seeds, collectibles for completing puzzles and reaching difficult places like mountaintops. Although players will find a number of these trinkets without trouble, going for completion would require dozens of hours of combing the landscape. There are 900 such seeds to be found in the game, and giving them to the large maraca-shaking Hetsu will reward you with more slots for your inventory. But finding every Korok and bringing the seeds back to Hetsu will not just grant you more spaces for inventory, you'll also receive an item called Hetsu's Gift, something that is purely ornamental and doesn't actually do anything. The fun part about it, it resembles a golden pile of feces, and it smells like one too. According to the game director Hidemaru Fujibayashi, developers thought it would be a funny reward for such a large task. Number 1. Metal Gear Solid it wouldn't be a list about messing with players without mentioning a Kojima game. There are many instances in this PS1 masterpiece of the famous author having a bit of a laugh at your expense, from Psycho Mantis reading the contents of your memory card, to various other fourth wall breaking comments made about characters in the original Metal Gear Solid. Arguably the most famous example was the solution to opening the cargo bay doors, whereby Campbell would ask Solid Snake to contact a number found on the back of the CD case. Many players at the time didn't realise that he meant the actual physical case that the game came in, and were frantically searching items in their inventory to no avail. Turns out the physical case had a screenshot of the digits on the back, and it remains one of the most ingenious examples of a game giving its audience the runaround. It probably caused some problems for those that were pirating the game as well. Another bonus troll from Kojima. What other instances of games messing with players do you know of? Share them with us in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and want more gaming content, make sure to check out our top 10 most iconic video game quotes or our 10 video game franchises that need reviving. Both are linked on the screen.